Okay, today we're going to be talking about percent of change. Okay, now there's two ways to calculate percent of change. We can have a percent of increase or a percent decrease. Okay, now percent increase is when a percent of change when the original quantity increase. So as you see, I have increase going up. So whenever you have percent increase, it goes up. That's an arrow. So we're going to go up. Okay. So when we have a percent decrease, the percent of change is when the original quantity decrease. Okay. So we're going to go down. Okay. So wherever we start with, if it increase, if the original amount increase, then it's a percent increase. If it decreases, we're going to find the percent decrease. Okay. Let's flip up on the inside. Okay. A couple of vocabulary terms here. Okay. So percent of change is the ratio that compares the change in a quantity to the original amount. So what I want you to do is I want you in your own words to give me a definite, your definition of percent increase and percent decrease based on what we've talked about already. Okay. All right. So now notes here. One way to describe a change in quantities is to use is the use of percent of change. The following proportions to help you find the percent of change. OK, so these two proportions here will help you find the percent of change. So we're going to take the difference between the original amount and the amount it changed. OK, meaning we're going to subtract those two. So what we get there is going to be our difference over what we originally started with equals percent over 100. Or we can do amount of change, which is the same thing, over the original amount equals percent over 100. Another way you'll see this written is you'll see amount, then you'll see a triangle, okay, which we call a delta over the original, okay? And that triangle just represents, that means... change okay so the amount of change over the original so the other way we can do that is we can just take the amount of change we subtract and we divide it by the original amount okay so keep that in mind so when we get to work on these problems we're going to have to use this proportion here okay so now another way we can figure out the percent increase a percent of change decrease is by models okay so here this model shows a 50 percent increase so what I want you to do is I want you to use this model at the bottom and show a 25% decrease. Okay. So we know that increase means we're going to go up, but I want you to find percent decrease there. So how would I represent that? Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and turn over into our foldable and we're going to do some practice problems here. Okay. So we're going to start with the example number one. Okay, example number one says, a water measured a tree after it grew for one year, and it was four feet tall. Okay, so we're going to use our UPS strategy, and we're going to circle, sorry about it being blurry, four feet tall. After 10 years, it was 10 feet tall. So we're going to circle 10 feet tall. Okay, we're going to find the percent increase. Okay. So now our vocabulary word there is percent increase. So we're going to go ahead and box that in. Okay. So now this one has been done for you. So the difference, so the difference between the two is we take the 10 and we subtract four from it because it was, a, it was 10, it was 10 feet tall. Then it, it was four feet. Then it was 10 feet. So we're going to subtract it there. Okay. And we know it increased because it started at four and it went to 10. So now our change or our difference is six. So that's going to be our change or difference. Okay. So now, as you see, it's already set up for you. So we can do this two ways here. We can set it up as they have it here, the proportion six over four equals percent over 100 because the difference that we got was six the original where it started was four feet okay and we're going to just divide you can cross multiply 
and then divide. So you get six times 100 will be 600. So 600 divided by four. Okay, and when we do that, it can only go into that one time. Five, bring down a zero. So 150. So this was 150% increase. Okay. All right, so now let's look at the second example. It says on the first week of school, 50 students in the school did not turn in their homework. Okay, so we start at 50. And I'm going to put a little squiggly line under first week. Okay. On the second week, okay, squiggly line under second week, only 30 students. Okay, so right there. We already know it's going to be a decrease because in the first week it was 50 and the second week it was 30. Okay. So now we're going to find the percent decrease. And of course, we're going to box in our vocabulary. Okay. So now we got to first find our change. So we got to subtract. Okay. So our change is 20. Okay. So we're going to go over here. We're going to set it up. Okay, so I'm going to use our amount of change over the original, and I'm going to abbreviate original. Okay, so 20 was our amount of change. That was our difference. The original where we started at week one was 50. Okay, now we're going to divide 20 divided by 50. Now we know that 50 cannot go into 20, so we're going to have to add a decimal and a zero. Shoot that decimal straight up. How many times would it go into 200? We go into it four times. Okay, so now we have 0.4. We need this as a percent. Okay, so we know we to turn to decimal into a percent, we move it over two decimal places to the right. So one, two. So we have a 40 percent decrease. So now I'm going to write that in a, in a complete sentence. Okay. There was a 40 percent decrease of students who did not turn their homework in from week one to week two. Okay, so that's how I write my answer in a complete sentence. Okay, so we're going to move on to example number three. It says Jake has $600 in his checking account. Okay, we're going to circle the 600. He now, excuse me, that W did not get over there. He now has 654. Is this an example of percent increase or decrease? And if so, we're going to find the percent of change. Okay, so we want to know if it's a percent decrease. Did it go down or did it go up? So just by looking at it. So he had $600 in his checking account. He now, meaning now presently, he has 654. So we know that from 600 to 654, it increased. So this is an increase. Okay. By how much? We have to find the difference. Okay. So this is our change here. Or our difference. Okay. Same thing here. We're going to go here and we're going to write amount of change over the original okay now what I want you to do is we're actually I want you to set it up and I want you to write it in a complete sentence for me your answer and I also want you to complete this one here and we will go over it in class okay 
All right, so now we just went over percent of change, finding percent increase or percent decrease.